Hey friends, y'all come on in the kitchen because I am fixing to share a recipe with y'all that I have had for years and years and years and years. I can't remember exactly how long it goes back, but that's the eclair cake. And if you like chocolate eclairs, I think you're gonna love this one. And uh, earlier today, I made a another video of one of the most incredible recipes you will ever put in your mouth. And that's Paula Dean's Family Kitchen's ooey gooey butter pancake. It's just heavenly. Did I call it by its right name? Ooey gooey. Ooey gooey butter. Gooey. <laughs> ooey gooey butter cake pancakes. That's right. So if you want to look it up, you can you can look that up because it was incredible. Just please, y'all, look for that video and let me know what you think because it's really delicious. Um, as well as this eclair cake that I'm fixing to make is very delicious. So I'm going to start. And you know, uh, you can always go to the link on any of these videos to get the correct measurements because I know it's hard to absorb everything and every ingredient. All right, so I've got three and a half cups of milk. I've got two uh, three and a half ounce package of instant vanilla pudding mix. So I'm just gonna mix that and it doesn't take that long to get thick, y'all. So easy peasy. After this gets thick, we've got one more step for this. And it calls for a eight ounce container of a frozen whipped topping. And y'all know I just, I, I just too much don't use that sort of thing. I always whip my own whipping cream. I love fresh whipped cream. So that's what I've got. But if you like the taste of the frozen toppings, by all means, uh, use it because it, it does make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. And it's starting to thicken. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's getting really thick. <laughs> Getting it all over me. I'm gonna be very, very sweet when I get through with this uh, video. All right, we're gonna move down here and I have my buttered 13 by nine by two pan and I'm gonna layer it with um, graham crackers. And this is gonna make our eclair cake this part right here. And we're actually gonna wind up with two layers of graham crackers. Okay. So now I'm gonna take our whipped cream or our frozen uh, whipped topping, dessert topping, whichever you want to use. And I think that's thick enough. Let me see, I'll have to refer back to the recipe. It's been so, so long since I made it. Oh gosh, I, I bet it's been six or seven years since I've made this. Okay, so we're just gonna fold our pudding into our whipped cream. Is this yours, Teresa? I don't ever recall seeing this. It's got to be yours. I like it. That's a nice measuring cup. It's light and you don't have to worry about breaking it. Okay, so we're just going to fold that in and that fresh cream is going to uh, 
just make that instant pudding like velvety. It's gonna take it to another level. You won't think of it being an instant pudding by the time we get that all folded in. Okay, so we're gonna pour a layer of this over our crackers. This is one of those great quick and easy desserts. You know, if you have last, last minute company show up. You know, you can serve them this and they'll just think you baked all afternoon preparing them for them. One more little scoop. Make sure we've got those edges done. Now, we're gonna put that other layer of graham crackers on top. I think I like them turned that way, like long ways. So we're gonna wind up with uh, the last layer being graham crackers. So you can see this is turning into what we think of as a chocolate eclair. But where's the chocolate? Where's the chocolate, Teresa? I don't see any chocolate. <laughs> I'm next. funning you. I'm funning you. I, I, I see go, What are you talking about? Mmm. <laughs> So here we go, the last layer of graham crackers. And that pudding tastes so good and so rich. Don't know what, where my rag went. Okay, the final layer. You know what, having these uh, <laughs> these graham crackers out there, you know what it's made me hungry for? You wanna make a guess, Eddie? I'll say s'mores. That's exactly <laughs> what it's made me hungry for. Some s'mores. I'd love some more s'mores, please. Now it is time to make the chocolate part of our eclair cake. And the chocolate um, ingredients for the top is one and a half cups of confectioner sugar, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa, three tablespoons of butter softened, a third of a cup of milk, 
two teaspoons of light corn syrup and a couple of teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. So we are just going to uh, cover the cake with the, froth with the frosting and refrigerate for 24 hours because we do, uh, we do want this to be firm enough that we can cut it, right? And let those graham crackers you know, soak up some of that goodness. All right, so we're gonna blend together sugar, cocoa, then we're gonna add the butter and our milk, and we're gonna mix that well, and then we're gonna add the corn syrup and the vanilla. And we're gonna, uh, well, it's, it says we don't even have to use a mixer. Uh, it's been so long since I've made it, I, I don't remember. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix our two dry ingredients together. And I'm just gonna whisk that together. I wanna make sure that my confectionate sugar and my cocoa is all incorporated very, very well. So then I'm gonna add my butter and my milk. And even though it didn't tell me to, I'm going to I'm going to use my beaters on it. Because I can trust this. Well, I can't trust my arm if it wears out. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure we get this nice and creamy. So, so easy, y'all. And uh, you can always change this up with different extracts or, you know, really whatever, whatever you want. Uh, you can make it have any flavor that you want. Now this is our two teaspoons of white corn syrup. And now we need two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. That's one, two, two healthy <laughs> teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. I love that extract, y'all. All right, so we're just gonna beat this for a few minutes. And then we're gonna top our eclair cake. So we're gonna just pour this over the top. of our last layer of graham crackers. This is like a frosting to our chocolate eclair. This is a great recipe y'all to take to a potluck supper. Transports and eats very, very easy. So the bad part about this recipe is we got to wait 24 hours. And I don't have a backup, so we're gonna have to wait. It's a good make the day before recipe. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so see y'all in 24. <laughs> we are gonna pretend like it's been 24 hours, okay? Mm -hmm. You got your fork ready? I got it. <laughs> okay. You get that side, and I'll get this side. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, you saw, you saw how easy it was, Teresa. <laughs> I know you don't like the dark chocolate as much, but I love dark chocolate. Do you? Mm -hmm. Tastes like fudge on top of it, doesn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Another one of those wonderful Easy. Mm-hmm. Eddie, you're gonna like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Happy birthday, Maddie. <laughs> you didn't you didn't clean out your bike real good, Teresa. <laughs> I hate it when I have to eat it up everybody's cutting. <laughs> Yum Ola. He's gonna love it. He is gonna love it. Eddie just said, Well, Paula, aren't you gonna say bye? <laughs> <clears throat> bye, y'all. A cake had me very distracted. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.